We're talking about tropical storm Cristobal, which is continuing to spin over the southeastern Bahamas. It's generally moving to the north now at about three miles an hour, and the sustained winds are at 50 miles an hour, extending 140 miles from the center. What is it going to mean for us? Well, basically just a chance of some high risk of rip currents and some elevated swell. You can see it remains a very, very good distance from us. Even some drier air moving in on the west side of this for us tomorrow. But it does strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane and continues to take more of an easterly swing as we head through the latter part of the week. And bottom line stays well away from the U.S. mainland and becomes a fish storm. So Cristobal, really not an issue for us, which is a good thing because for a while there, you know, we just didn't know what it was going to do, but it got caught up in that trough. So we're seeing with it, though, a northeasterly flow. So a line of showers, little spotty showers are moving in from, say, Stewart down through Jupiter, even West Palm and Riviera Beach right now in the mix for just these quick moving downpours, which are moving to the south and the west from the north and the east. You can see a line here uh, just on the shore about Hutchinson Island, Hobe Sound, and uh, Juno Beach and Jupiter Island. So bottom line, make sure you have the umbrella today. You'll need it. It's also going to be warm and sticky out there. We're in the low 80s, 81, in fact, in Vero Beach, and the sun is just making its way up. It's definitely going to heat us up. Into the 90s today, it looks like 90 to 92 with north winds at 7 to 20 miles an hour. With that east northerly flow, we're going to see basically some scattered showers throughout the morning and then again this afternoon with the heaviest downpours most likely concentrated around Lake Okeechobee. But a little more unsettled than, of course, we got used to last week with the dry weather trend. The good news is drier air is incoming for us for the middle part of the week. But get this, the tropics aren't done just yet. We are in the peak of the season, and we're dealing with another tropical invest that developed yesterday, spun off of Africa. And this invest, 97L, has a 20% chance of developing over the next five days. Don't think we'll see it do anything over the next 48 hours. Here's a look at your weather rate most accurate seven day forecast, a dry middle part of the week for the most part. And then we're going to up the more typical summertime pattern with scattered showers and storms each and every afternoon as we head into Friday and the weekend ahead. All right, thank you, Sandra. Another loss.